Hi students, welcome back. Coming to the next topic in Java, programming language is a collection framework. So this is one of the important concept while you're working on the applications. If you want to develop any Java applications, you need to understand what exactly the collection framework is. Okay, so now let's see. Uh, a collection framework is nothing but it is a set of collection classes and interfaces. Okay, a set of collection classes and interfaces, we usually call it as a collection framework. Or else you can also say a set of data structures which are related to the classes and the interfaces, we call it as a collection framework. Is it clear? So, a collection framework is a set of data structures that are related to whatever the data structures that we are using like it. What are the data structures? Array lays, arrays, uh, linker lays, skews. Uh, these are all stacks, all comes under the data structures, right? So, a set of data structures that arrays, linker list that are related to classes and interfaces that you call it as a collection framework. So, this is the definition of the collection framework. So, don't worry uh, if you work on the pro, uh, program, then you will get a clarity on what exactly the collection framework is. So, here is the definition. It's a set of data structures that is related to the classes and interfaces is called as a collection framework. So, first of all, what is a collection? I am saying that a collection, collection framework. What is a collection? A collection is an object that represents a group of object. A collection is an object which represents the, that thing object is going to represent a group of objects. Then what is the data structure? You all know that. Arranging data in different formats. So arranging the data in the stack wise, in the queue wise, in the linker list wise. So that arranging the data in different formats is called as a data structure. So when you uh, see the name of data structure, it is nothing but it is Arranging the data, whatever the data that is present, so that data we need to be arranged in a particular format. So that you call it as a data structure. Okay. You have seen about the collection framework. So what are the advantages of using this collection framework? Why we are using in Java programming language? Collection framework advantage is it reduces the programming effect. Okay. It reduces the programming effect. It increasing programming speed as well as the quality. So, you all know how to write the Java programs, right? So, while we are working on the Java programs, we have to consider some points like whatever the program that we are writing, that should be in a speed and it has to be in a good quality. And it also reduces the programming effect also. Those manners we need to be selected. So, collection framework is helping us to reduce the programming effect, increase the programming speed and the quality. And it also allows interoperability among unrelated application interface APIs so all collection classes and interfaces are a part of java.util. package you'll all get it out where these uh, uh, data structures the collection framework uh, classes and interfaces are present so those are all present in the util package so while you're working on the collection uh, frameworks, you have to import import java.util. packages. Then you can access the array list, linker list, and all these things you can be accessed if you want to work on the frameworks. So java.util. package classes and the interfaces are divided into two categories. One is a collection framework collections, and another is the legacy collections. Okay collection framework collection and legacy collections. So we will discuss about the collection framework collection and the legacy collections in detail in the next video. Okay. So again, these will be divided into different types. Legacy collections will be divided into different types. So we will work on what exactly the collection framework collections and the legacy collections. Okay. Thank you.